I've been collecting a fair amount of Lego sets as of late, and they're so nice. Sometimes after a day at work, I get the craving just to make something with Lego, and I go out just to buy myself a cheap, cool looking set. It's just so relaxing being able to sit down making something that you know that you'll be able to play with later on or display. Of course, there are some themes that I gravitate towards too, like the flower sets, Lego Ninjago, and some licensed things. But as long as I find them cool to look at, I'll want my, to get my hands on them. The flower sets are stunning to look at, and the pieces that they use are incredibly unique. Like how the bonsai tree uses tiny pink little frogs as cherry blossoms, and loose studs as dirt. Sometimes the building experience can get repetitive, like with the cherry blossom stand and the pot for the orchids, but it's worth it having a unique Lego set and display piece that you can genuinely put around the house without people knowing it's Lego unless they actually look at it. I didn't really grow up with Lego Ninjago. Everyone in my primary school had Beyblades. Everyone was into Beyblades. I, I also had a couple of Beyblades myself. All the kids from prep to year six had them and the cool kids were the ones who actually had stadiums and brought them over. And of course, there were the occasional kids who brought Ninjago. And during that time, I did watch the animated series, but I wasn't too, too invested into it. Like, I do remember key points in the show, like the big reveal of Zane being a robot, which was kind of weird to me, but also really cool. <laughs> so when I did start getting these sets, it was kind of like reawakening my childhood. I've got some of the dragon sets, since they're some of the cheaper ones, and they're all really good builds. All of them have little printed flags at the end of each build, and it's something cool to unify all of them. And of course, the minifigs are super cool. The license sets are some of the more expensive ones I have. The Lego Super Mario Airship was supposed to be for my little brother when he was being a good boy or for his birthday or something like that. But since I knew he was just gonna break it later on, and since it was my money, I just built it for myself and now it's on my shelf far out of reach. I know not too many people like the Lego Mario sets because they don't have minifigs and you can't really incorporate them into stuff like mocks, but I really do love how they incorporated Mario into the Lego medium. The Sonic the Hedgehog idea set was kind of annoying to build. The pattern that's used in Green Hill Zones ground are all one by one tile pieces that you have to stack on top of one another and it keeps going and going and going but the final product looks really cool there's even this cute little building detail where each bag you open you get one more chaos emerald where you can put into this little stand and it's, it's cute and dr robotnik kind of looks dorky but i i love it i was kind of hyped for light year, so I got myself some of the sets from that theme. The spaceship that Buzz uses in the film has got to be one of my favorite sets that I've got. It's super detailed, it's so fun to build, and it's got a couple of neat minifigs. Too bad the movie was kind of mid, in my opinion at least. The only character I care about having a minifig is of course Buzz, but the side characters that also come in this build are just kind of meh and I actively hate one of these characters being Maurice who I had to look up the name of when writing this video because he was just so damn forgettable as well as hindering the plots and he was just fucking annoying but yeah I do love myself a good ass Lego sense I love coming home to the feeling of knowing I'll be able to put some time aside, chuck on some music, and build some good ass Lego. It heals my inner child. It heals the inner child, and it's super relaxing. But yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day, afternoon, or evening, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!